Installing the gas system on your DF900 arc LU arc dent pulling system is very simple. Start by installing the tube onto the back. The gas system will come with a regulator with the hose connected to it and the hose connectors. Once that's attached, cinch it down with a wrench. Then install your tank, uh, your tank regulator onto the tank. Remember, you never use sealing tape on a tank regulator. Always make sure that your tank is securely chained down into the bracket for safety. Now, before you turn on your tank, you want to back off the T-handle so that it is on zero. That way you can adjust it correctly with pressure. Opening up your tank, your right gauge shows you the volume in the tank itself. Your left gauge tells you the output into your welder. Now you want to set this pressure by turning this T-handle very slowly and bring it right to 25. Your gas system is now set up, ready to be used on your DF900 ARC Aluarc dent pulling system. Installing the gun onto your DF900 ARC Aluarc dent pulling system is very simple. Start with your gas hose. It plugs in very similar to an air hose by just pushing it in and making sure that it clicks all the way and this coupler slides forward. To release it, you just push the coupler back and it comes out if you ever need to disconnect it. But again, make sure that the coupler snaps forward. Then, your data cable. Your data cable has notches on it so that it only goes in one way. Make sure you twist the lock nut until it's secure. And then you have your two power cables. For aluminum pulling, it's reverse polarity. So you're gonna put the red power cable on top. The best way to do this is start by turning the cable counterclockwise to put some tension on it. It goes in like a key, and that way that tension will keep it locked in securely in the right position. Now your gun is installed on your DF900 ARC Alu ARC dent pulling system and you're ready to set it up and do some pulling. Your DF900 ARC Alu ARC dent pulling system comes with an assortment of different pulling keys or rings. This is the box they come in. It comes with three different types that would be types of aluminum to weld into in two different shapes that would be the flat and the twisted and this box is 1.5 millimeter. We also have them available in one millimeter if you want to do lighter pulls. So looking at this box, this tells you your different types. AL 99.5 is your 100% or 99.5% aluminum. ALMGSI, your silicon alloy. And your ALMG3 is your magnesium alloy. So you've got number fours for your 99.5 number fives are you're going to be your silicon and number sixes are going to be your magnesium. You've got the two types, the flat and the twisted for different types of poles. The flat for your standard poles, but if you get into a body line or a crease, you're going to want to use the twisted so you can burn straight into the liner crease and pull directly out linear with the crease or the body line. Also, it allows you to line up several of them and use a bridge puller. So make sure you select the correct key for the correct job and you will have a great pull with your DF900 Aluarc. Turning on and setting up your DF900 Arc Aluarc dent pulling system is very simple. But there's some things you need to know when you get started. The two things you definitely need to know are what type of aluminum will you be pulling on? There's three types. It could be magnesium alloy, it could be silicon alloy, or it could be 99.5% pure, which is rarest of them all, but still out there. 
Also, you need to know what type of key you're going to be using, i.e., are you going to use a 1.5 millimeter key or a 1 millimeter key? So with that in mind, we're going to set up this welder. We're going to propose that we're going to be burning a 1.5 millimeter key into a magnesium panel. Magnesium alloy panels seem to be the most common. So starting by turning on the power, flip the switch. You will see the Denfix logo come up and it'll prompt you, the gun is connected, to press the trigger on the gun. Once it clears, the screen and the settings will go automatically back to whatever the last settings you put on the machine were. So if you were welding or pulling on silicon alloyed uh, aluminum and now you're switching to magnesium alloyed aluminum on a different car, when you turn it on, you are going to have to reset it. If you're continuously working on the same area of the same car, you may not need to. So to do your settings, we're going to go into this menu home key right here and you will see it brings up your three choices. You're just going to go straight into settings. So you're basically going to hit it a second time. First thing it asks you is your material. So your ALSPEC is your 99.5% aluminum. Your ALMGSI is your silicon alloyed aluminum. And your ALMG is your magnesium alloyed aluminum. Since we're proposing a magnesium alloyed part, we will leave the setting here. We'll go to these down arrows. The next one prompts you, is your gas on? It's confirming that you turn on the gas. The second one is asking your type of electrode. The keys we use are known as rings, so ring electrode is correct. The last one is asking you the thickness of the electrode. Again, this is the thickness of the electrode, not the panel you're working on. Your choices are one millimeter and 1.5 millimeter. We're proposing that this job is a 1.5 millimeter key, therefore we're set correctly. Hit your menu key again, and now you're back in your settings. You'll see on your main screen, it shows ring, ALMG, so it's telling you the type of uh, ring that you are, have this set up for, the thickness of the ring, 1.5 millimeters, and that the gas is on. Now what you're gonna do is on the left side of the screen is your power setting. I usually start on about five unless I know it's an unusually thin or fragile panel. The next thing on this side, you set up the thickness of the panel that you're burning into. So for instance, on most common doors are about one millimeter. I would leave it on one millimeter. You can go down to eight tenths of a millimeter and up to two millimeters, depending on how thick the panel that you're pulling is. So in this case, we're going to put it on one millimeter. And now we're ready to burn in our key. If you need to reset it, again, settings, set your material, confirm your gas is on, confirm it's a key electrode, which is what you're going to be using, and the thickness of your electrode. Now you're ready to do your job. Burning in a key with your DF900 ARC AlluArc system, it's very simple. Remember, whenever working with aluminum, it is critical that right before you do any welding or burning in of pulling keys, that you brush it vigorously with a stainless steel brush. Our unit comes with two of them. We recommend they be used in concert, using the big one back and forth to break up all the oxide. and then using the small one in a sweeping motion. The first one kind of breaks things up, the second one sweeps them away. You'll notice the panel getting shinier. That's because you're moving the gray oxide from the top of the panel. Now remember, anytime you use the DF900 ARC AlluArc, it is producing an ARC. You need to wear proper eye protection for both obstructions, things flying into your eye, as well as the radiant glow of the arc. The recommendation is a minimum shade of number five. You've set up your machine correctly. Now you need to install your key by sliding it into the end of the gun. 
unlock your ground poles. This knob unlocks them. They'll have a bit of a spring action to them. Figure out where you want your key to be burned in. Push down. You'll hear the gas turn on. Now turn the knob clockwise to lock it into place and pull the trigger. And you've burned in your key ready to pull. Again, install your key. Unlock the grounds. Push down. You'll hear the gas turn on. Lock the grounds and burn in your key.